Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obadah Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4, and we are on the brink of a world war. Indeed, it's very, very exciting. Um, I'm about to betray the allies. Well, I mean, betray the, betray the allies is a strong word, you know? I mean, I'm a communist. Like, that's, that's kind of, you know... That's how we roll. But anyway, yes, the world is in a, a very, very weird place. Um, at the moment, the allies aren't even in the war, which is really, really weird. Um, German Reich seems just to be going absolutely, you know, batshit crazy against the Soviet Union. Apparently, now they're in the war. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this is the case, but um, apparently, now they're in the war. Apparently, now they're in the war. Um, yeah, so if we decline... I don't, I don't really, I don't really want to go into this war. I'm going to decline it. Is that like... Does that kick me out of the allies? No, I'm still not... Wow. So I can just selectively... <laughs> I can just selectively be in this war or not? I mean, don't get me wrong, you know. The UK, it's, uh, it's a lovely place. I love it, personally. But I would just rather not go to war with... Anyone, actually, apart from all of the countries in Africa, with which I want to own. I want to own all of their asses. I mean, assets. De uh, assets. Definitely, definitely assets. Asses, too, I guess. I, I guess I kind of want the people for the manpower, because my manpower is... You know, it leaves a little to be desired, if I'm completely honest. But it does, doesn't particularly matter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna whine and whinge too much. Um, anyway, I'm just waiting for for France to capitulate. But thank God they're at war with Germany, so that should be damned soon. Uh, the Axis are uh, assisting Germany in their uh, in their world domination conquest, uh, which is actually remarkable, if you ask me. Um, that's quite cool, actually. Oh, let me let me have a little, little look at my navy overview. The fall of Warsaw. Poland did not stand a chance. Yeah, I mean, does Poland ever stand a chance? Like, in any version of Hearts of Iron, have you seen? Except if you're playing Poland, of course. If you're playing Poland, then, you know, you've got a pretty good chance of doing something impactful. But otherwise, I think Poland's just, you know, it's just de facto taken over by the Germans. It's, it's quite it's quite depressing, but it happens. Beautiful. Okay, you know what? I, I've been putting it off long enough, but um, it's actually time that we... Oh, what's that? No, I'm just, I'm just joking. Uh, it's actually time that we finally, finally, finally do what we want to do. We're going to become a fully independent. Well, we're already fully independent, I suppose. Um, but we're still a member of the Allies. We're going to become fully independent. We're going to leave the Allies. It's going to be great. Um, it's going to be super, super awesome to see what happens from here on in. I'm very, very excited to see, uh, to see what goes on. Because we're no longer going to have any of the United Kingdom troop movements. So I guess we'll, you know, we'll memorize them all now. Uh, Belgium joined the Allies. Cool. Oh, well, maybe that's maybe that's going to sway my opinion now that Belgium's a member of the Allies. I mean, France is a member of the Allies, right? Like, just want to... French... Co no. Yeah, no, there are two different wars. Wow, okay, so... So there's two different wars, right? There's the... There's the German war against... All of these people, but there's two German wars, right? So is there is there a way that I can check this? There is a way that I can check this. Current wars, look at this. Okay, so there's the Japanese-Chinese war. Fine, get it. But there's the Japanese-Polish war, and there's the German-Soviet Soviet war. So the German-Polish war... Looks to be over very, very soon. Whereas the German-Soviet war, does that include the UK as well? Wow, so the UK is actually on the side of the Soviet Union. That is very, very interesting. Okay, so there's not actually two wars, there's just one war. I mean, there is technically two wars, but the war in Poland is going to be over pretty soon anyway. Never really counts for much, but... I don't know, like, I don't think Germany can go up against, like, the entirety of the Allies... It's just very weird how things happened in this uh, in this in this version. I don't I just I don't know. Personally, it seems a little bit weird. But what the hell do I know about anything? Literally nothing, I suppose. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, there's uh, seemingly a little bit of fighting going on in North Africa. When I played the UK, this was the absolute worst place to fight because it's just not worth it. Like honestly, the UK, I'm telling you, just let Italy take all this land. Uh, not saying that Egypt is unimportant. Oh, you. 
you're gonna pursue closer bonds with germany sure go go fuck yourself um not saying that egypt isn't worth it egypt probably a lovely place i don't know i've never been i, I would welcome any testimony that says uh says what i say or otherwise i don't really know but uh it's this this land is all oh, just fucking horrific and you just lose so much land but what the hell is that kingdom of egypt that is definitely a new thing interesting um i didn't know that the kingdom of egypt was a thing but apparently it could be in the future uh make sure everyone's equipped to there poland is capitulated yep not a surprise in the slightest uh and this is the end of the war fantastic Ten thousand equipment has been seized that's the that's the main thing right that's the main thing uh, and now i'm presuming the japanese chinese war is going to be over very very soon japan always seems to do very very well in this region over here um I would suspect that that would be ending rather soon. An unlikely alliance between China and the People's Republic of China. An interesting alliance because they're ideologically very, very different. Yeah, wow. That's, that's so weird. Are in the same Chinese United Front fi faction. Chinese United Front Front Faction. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a strange, a little bit of a strange thing to be saying. But what can I say? Um, our infantry equipment is looking damn sexy, if I do say so myself. Our air force is looking non-existent, non-existent. But it's okay, because soon we'll have left the Allies and we'll be, uh, we'll be leaving, we'll be leaving all of the schmucks, uh, the schmucks from Europe in the dust. We're going to become the African superpower. Fingers crossed that there's a bunch of good good resources around here, but I don't really know if that's the case. Uh, rubber. I mean, steel is a little bit thin on the ground, I'll be completely honest. Steel is very, very thin on the ground in uh, in, in Africa. Um, up in, like, uh, where is this? This is, like, Morocco area, I guess. There's a little bit of steel, but not very many resources wow fuck me i thought i was good for chromium in south africa ottomans have got shit tons of chromium fucking hell germans have got shit tons of steel the french have got shit tons of steel the british have got shit tons of steel i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get some steel from someone soon because I'm, I'm i'm gonna run out of steel at some point that's for sure uh okay so just gobble up all of these juicy juicy research bonuses we are uh ooh. If resource efficiency gain. Don't mind if I do. I was just talking about my, my lack of steel. I could really do with some more of that. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to think about the resources and where we conquer in order to get resources. I think that's pretty much going to be the number one issue that we're going to have uh, as we go forward. Resources, for sure. Uh, because we're going to need aluminium as well, which I don't think... I haven't spotted on the entirety of the African continent good stuff another bit of research done let's get you how long does that take 142 days i mean we'll be out of the empire by then i imagine well in fact very soon i say empire british empire we'll be out of the we'll be out of the allies we're not, i suppose we're technically a member of the empire right now a member of the commonwealth is perhaps the the correct term people's republic of china you're going down though there's no there's no easy way to say it. the japanese are absolutely crushing this um and it looks like the Germans are crushing it as well, apparently, against the Soviets. But I don't expect that to last forever. Um, I do not expect that to last forever. Already the UK have navally invaded the top of uh, the top of Germany. Germany's attacking into Belgium. That's very successful, apparently. All right. 20%, 30%. Don't really care about those support factions too much. And that's a 50% reduction of my own creation so that's not going to disappear i'll get this actually uh since that's a 30 percent reduction and that is directly due to the commonwealth bonus why the hell does the uk have so many fucking troops in this uh in this area that really does disturb me that really really does disturb me the french however do not seem to have many uh, troops at all in this area and i believe what's the first Union of the African people, and then we can do liberate Portuguese colonies or British colonies, which should be very, very easy to do. I mean, we can just liberate the Portuguese ones, right? Like, rather than going for the British ones, so, so they don't hate us. I mean, Portugal doesn't have... We don't know how many troops Portugal has, but probably not that many. I'm 
I mean, they they only have two tiny little colonies there, so um, that should be a very, very easy take, and I would envision that uh, we'd be able to do that very, very soon indeed. Okay, we're no longer a member of the Allies. No longer a member of the Allies. Union of the African people, let's go straight towards that with great gusto indeed. Um, could we ask to be, like, part of this faction? Ask to join faction. Well, we could ask to join it, and we would be accepted if we want to. Uh, what about asking to join your faction? German has strategic reasons to be hostile. Different ideology. Wow. Don't Just because we're a different ideology doesn't mean that we can't be friends. For example, the UK, democratic. F the French, commies. Fucking commies, you know? So, you know, people, people that are different ideologies can be friends. That's what I'm trying to say. However, it's good to know that we've still got the option of just, you know, joining, uh, joining the, uh, the, the commie turn if we want, even though we didn't take up this policy. I mean, we, we still can't get access to the research groups, but who really gives a shit about that anyway? I mean, research is just one of those necessary evils with this game, right? Like, you just gotta do it. All right, let's get some more people equipped to there. Perfect. I'm actually really, really happy with the way that things are going. Yeah, you're moving currently. That's fantastic, because you shouldn't be stuck in the mountains and wasting all of my beautiful, beautiful manpower. Uh, the fall of... No way. No way. Wow, I barely took my eyes off France. French communist capitulated. Baby, that's fucking great. I mean, that, that'll allow us to demand Madagascar. Because <laughs> the French communist definitely capitulated. Uh, Balkan diplomatic, uh, who cares? Uh, wow, okay, Greece joins the Allies, Italy's declared war on Greece. <sighs> Standard fucking stuff there, chaps. Well, now we can demand Madagascar, because, honestly, I was expecting France to fall, like, let's be honest, <laughs> the French, the French are pretty capitulatable, and that is definitely a technical term, uh, for, for being little bitches. Um, in terms of what they can actually do in a war, but wow, like, that was... That was like a month, a month, and Germany just rampaged across all of Europe. Wow, they, they took, how did, how did Germany manage to take fucking France before taking Belgium? Belgium, Belgium, <laughs> fuck me. Jesus Christ, that, you know, fuck, the Germans don't fuck around, do they? God damn. Um, is there any way that I could ask to join the faction? British opinion of Cape Commune. Uh, let's let's work to improve uh, relations a little bit. I, you know, I don't really want to be uh, to be at odds with the British. You know, it's uh, it's not nice. It's not nice. It's uh, it's good to be chill. Good to be chill with the Brits, especially since they were our former overlords, which is uh, which is worth which is worth considering. Improved relations should uh, should go some of the way, but it looks like there's a cap of... M yeah, there well, there is obviously a cap of m minus uh, 100, so we should start to see that improve right now. Not like it particularly matters. Netherlands has joined the Allies, and the German Reich has declared war on the Netherlands. Big surprise there. I wouldn't be surprised if they declared war on me, by the way, but... Uh uh, that's a, a different issue. Uh, German interests in Scandinavia. Honestly, German interests anywhere except uh, Cape Commune don't really concern me. I mean, the Germans can really do fucking anything they want. Norway joined the Allies. Fucking surprise, surprise, surprise. Um, but the Soviets don't seem to be doing a damned thing about the, the, the German shenanigans that are going on. I mean, there's no, like... There's no... They are at war with each other, so what the hell is going on? Like, that's really, really weird. Like, that shouldn't be happening. Like, I feel that there should be more warring conflicts over over this border, because I, I don't think that this has ever really been... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why this is the case, but that's really, really, really super weird. Um, and the Soviet Union is looking good, but it's not looking, it's not looking like it's doing anything, which is the, which is the entire problem, but whatever. Uh, when am I going to get to form this, uh, Union of the African People? Because I am stoked for that. I really, really am. I'm very, very stoked. Oh, look, I spoke too soon, apparently. It seems that someone, 
Someone in uh, Moscow got the memo. They're actually, there's actually starting to be a little bit of movement along here. Denmark joined the Allies, and uh, uh, Germany declared war on Denmark. I, you know, I, I rate the, uh, the Germans' uh, ability to do stuff very highly, but uh, surely, surely it would be a smart idea to finish off Belgium and the Netherlands, and even France. Surely it would be a smart idea to finish them off before declaring war on, like, every single Scandinavian country, excluding Sweden. Like, let's be honest, but I suppose they could if you wanted to. Uh, could we justify against Portugal? We could totally justify against Portugal. Not like it really makes that much of a difference because we, we, we will soon have the ability, or we'll soon probably get an event to allow us to capture Portuguese colonies, which will be very, very exciting indeed. Uh, and then at that point, we'll just split our forces in two. Fantastic Union of the African People. This is great. The Union... The union the African People's Union. The founding members of the African People's Union have assembled in Pretoria to announce the creation of, a, of their new alliance. European observers were quick to note that the only government with any legitimacy present was the government of the Cape Commune itself. Moses Conte, Moses Conte, is that is that the name? Presiding over a motley assembly of self-appointed governments in exile and other revolutionary groups. The parties present released a joint declaration calling the European imperial powers to release any lands they hold in Africa to the rightful owners at once, condemning the practice of colonialism and vowing uh, to bring freedom and press the African peoples, whatever. Perfect. This is great. This is fan-fucking-tastic. Does that show up as, like, faction leader now? In, like, our... Uh Hey, African People's Union. Dismantle faction? No siree. Uh, now, we can't actually demand this. French Commune has capitulated. I mean, it technically has capitulated. But... Apparently... They're still, they're still communist, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, let's liberate the Portuguese colonies first. I think that that must be the priority numero uno. Um, also... There's no elections, which is a little bit of a problem. I can't boost... Uh, I can't boost other non-communist things, so it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a problem with France, although I think we should be able to fabricate on them. Oh, no, we can't justify on them. You have a non-aggression pact with them. Yes, can we Can we cancel this non-aggression pact? Cannot revoke our pact before uh, 1941. Okay, well, no, that's fine. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, how long is it going to take for this? Well, it's obviously going to take seven, 70 days, because that's, that's how long that's how long national focuses take. Not like it really matters, but there you go. I mean, I suppose it literally does matter, but hey-ho. Uh, limited exports. Um, I'm thinking that we probably go down to closed economy. Is that... Is that something that we, that we should do? I mean, obviously we can't do it right now, but I think that we will probably do that as soon as possible. Um... Yeah, I, I think that that's probably the best case scenario for us. Um, extensive conscription. Uh, that's 5%. Luxembourg has capitulated. Perfect. Service by requirement. Yes, that's probably something that we're going to be looking at very, very soon as well. That's only 150 political power, whereas this is... This is 150 as well. Okay, so we've got enough political power to do that just now. All right, we are pretty much maxed out on literally everything that we possibly could, so let's build a little bit of infrastructure. I would bother building some air bases, but it doesn't look like that is really going to matter in the slightest. Why? You guessed it, because we have no ability to build any airplanes of any nature, and so it literally is pointless. Uh, steel is presumably the only thing that we actually need, so the UK, let's, uh, not the UK, the United States, Let's, uh, let's agree to a little bit of a trade with them, which is lovely. And unfortunately, we cannot actually manufacture uh, any more convoy ships than we currently... That we, we can't manufacture any more convoy ships. So we're in a little bit of a pickle here because I did kind of fuck that up, actually. Um, we really probably should have built some, some convoy ships before... Before we dismantle the docks, but that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. I mean, we're going to be conquering stuff soon anyway, so it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this in the grand scheme of things. But I honestly, I, I think I should be allowed to. I don't know why I'm not allowed to demand Madagascar because the French commune has capitulated. Yeah, the French commune has capitulated, exists, and the current ruling party is not communist. Like, do I have to fulfill all of those? The Soviet Union agrees to the pact. French commune has capitulated. The French commune must approve the agreement for bonuses to take effect. Uh, I mean, can we, like, improve our French opinion? Fuck me, they really don't like me. 
They really do not like me. Let's let's work on improving relations with them. See if that makes any sort of a difference. I don't really know if it will. Um, but we'll give it a crack, I guess. And we'll see if it makes them not hate me. And therefore allow me to just take Madagascar without doing anything. Um, all of this land. All of it is going to be mine. All of it. That's right, all of it. By the way, this is the first piece of research that we're going to be starting without the aid of the British. Uh, we're actually going to be doing atomic research. We are right on time for that. We've got a 50% bonus, so that's going to speed it up by uh, by a decent chunk. Uh, 204 days or 206 days or whatever it is. 204 days presumably now. Um, it's still a fucking long time, so a little bit unfortunate uh, in that regard, but at the end of the day, it's something that's got to be done, and it's something that's going to help us out in all future research projects, i.e. it helps the, the time that it takes to research anything, so that's super, super nice. Um, those, those fucking docks, though. Those, those docks. I really shouldn't have done that. that. That was a pretty stupid thing to do. I shouldn't have deleted those docks without building more col uh, col colony ships, convoy ships. Um, I don't think deleting the docks is a stupid thing. I just think I should have built convoy ships before deleting the docks, like another, I don't know, 50 or something, or even like, I don't know, 20. Just anything would have been a, a damned good number to build because I just didn't. Um, anyway, liberating the Portuguese colonies looks like it's going to be happening very, very soon indeed. So you know what? We're going to hold off until the next episode because there's nothing like a cliffhanger to keep, uh, to keep to keep you guys coming back anyway ladies and gents that's going to do it for this episode thank you very very much for watching this has been hearts of iron 4 together for victory and i'll see you next time bye